I just scored some deals in the weekly golden auction. Let me show you what I bought and how I got those deals. And I have a $250 golden auction credit giveaway for one of you. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies. And at night, I invest in sports cars. Join me and my team as we help you profit from the hobby we all love. All right, guys, we're 30 minutes away from the closing of tonight's golden auction as I am going through this right now. So I want to show you the deals that I am going to find tonight. And right off the bat, let me tell you, you can enter the giveaway for $250 in free golden site credit. All you have to do is go to our website, sportscardinvestor.com and click on giveaway. Go enter that right now. There's also a link in the show description below as well as a link to go see this week's golden auction items in the show description below as well. Of course, as I'm recording this, you can see right here on my screen, we are counting down 30 minutes till this auction ends. Now, of course, when you're watching this, this auction is already going to be over, but there's going to be a whole new set of weekly auction items up on their website to look at. So click that link in the show description to go check out their weekly auction. Now this is, Golden has great auctions every single week. These auctions start on Tuesdays, Tuesday mornings, and they end the following Thursday. So I'm recording this here on a Thursday night. And you can see they've got a lot of higher end items, a lot of items in the thousands of dollars. Some really, really nice, unique stuff like wax packs, authenticated wax packs of 1986 Fleer basketball. They got LeBron James rookie cards. You've got even some memorabilia. Check out that sweet Tom Brady inscribed Super Bowl football right there. Got a really cool Kobe card, even some even some comics and different types of things, all kinds of sports. You got video games. Uh, look at that, a Kobe signed baseball. These are all really nice higher end items, but what I'm looking for tonight is I want to find some deals. I'm going deal hunting. So I'm actually going to scroll down, scroll down to the bottom here, and I'm going to go a couple of pages deep. So I want to get, let's go to page three. Because that's when I'm going to start seeing things priced at at just around $100 or under $100. And uh, I'm going to see what kind of deals are to be had. Any types of items that kind of stick out to me. This is an interesting one. So sometimes you can find deals when you're looking at lots. Sometimes lots of cards can produce some good deals. So any anything that catches my eye tonight... I'm actually going to right click on it and I'm going to open it in a new tab and that way I can come back to that item later. So what I like to do at first when I'm looking at an auction here on Golden is I like to just scroll. That Kobe card I'm interested in, that's a pretty liquid card. So I'm just going to scroll and pick some things that I'm interested in. How about this uh, Topps Chrome Sapphire box? How about this Allen Iverson rookie card? I'm going to open these all up in new browser windows and then I'm going to look at them a little more closely. I'm going to um, I'm going to look at, at at price history on some of these cards uh, using various tools to look at that, and I'm going to see what cards I want to actually place a bid on here. Now, of course, you've got to get your initial bids in before the auction closes at 9 p.m. Eastern time, and then once the auction closes at 9 p.m. Eastern time, you get into extended bidding. Let's look at this Carlos Correa card here. That's an interesting one. A BGS Black Label 10 of a gold wave. That's pretty cool. That one's worth taking a look at for sure. Um, and we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna go here through extended bidding in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be bidding on these as we go, and in just a couple of minutes, you're gonna see as we get into extended bidding which of these cards that I win and lose tonight. So hopefully I'm going to get some good cards here. How about Russell Wilson autograph? That's an interesting one. Maybe he's got a little bit of a bounce back season this year. Again, right now I'm just going through and opening up things that interest me in new browser windows. Ooh, this one interests me. I love these molten metal fusions from 1999 Skybox. I'm going to open up that one of Barry Bonds in a new browser window. Those are beautiful cards if you've never seen those before. How about this uh, T. Higgins? Uh, is that his rookie? Is that his rookie patch auto? That is his prime materials, rookie jumbo prime materials autograph card. That one is definitely worth a closer look. Not a bad time to buy football right now since we're in the off season for football. There's oftentimes deals to be had if you look at football cards in the off season. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out tonight for any football cards. 
Um, I'm also looking for baseball cards here as we scroll of players who could potentially have a good season this year because those uh, those players could see the values of their cards rise steadily soon. I love that Field of Dreams card, that Aaron Judge Field of Dreams card. That one's a pretty cool one. Just a lot of eye appeal on that card. Look at that Randy Johnson card, auto. That's a pretty neat one as well. All right, I'm continuing to scroll, seeing what I see here, seeing what ones are interesting me. All right, guys, so I just put a lot of cards that I am interested in in different browser tabs. Let's take a look now. We're only about 20 minutes away from the auction ending, so I need to get some bids in now. First of all, here's that Peyton Manning card collection. I told you that sometimes you can get good deals by bidding on lots of cards. And so I went in here and looked at some of these cards individually. You've got like a refractor card. These are all second year Peyton Manning cards. A lot of PSA 9s. A lot of these cards individually are worth 20 bucks. 30 bucks. And this is 10 different cards. The lot right now is $110 before buyer's premium. I'm going to go ahead and put in a bid on this one right now for $120 with buyer's premium. That's going to be $144 total cost to me if I win this lot. I'm currently the highest bidder. That's good news. There's definitely more than $144 worth of card value in this lot. Let's see if I can hold on and win this when we get into extended bidding. All right, next up here, we've got some sealed wax. This is a box of 2021 Topps Chrome Sapphire Edition update. These are selling online right now for around $140. This one currently at just $98 with buyer's premium. Let's bid this one up a little bit. This could be a nice flip opportunity on this box, especially with baseball season around the corner. I am now the highest bidder at just $104. If that is to hold up an extended bidding, that's going to be a deal. We're currently 13 minutes away from extended bidding, so we'll see. And here's another sealed wax box. This is 2021 Topps Chrome, not update regular Topps Chrome. This too, selling for around $140 online. Oh, I got instantly outbid on that. Someone has a higher max bid. I'm still gonna raise my bid. I'll take my bid all the way up to $102 before buyer's premium. I got outbid again on this one. So I'm probably gonna back off on this item. I was thinking this might be a flip opportunity for me, but with somebody else actively bidding this one up, this is probably no longer as good of a deal. So I'm gonna move on to some other items tonight. Now, this item is a little bit funny. I have to bid on it. This is a Pete Rose signed baseball where he inscribed, sorry, I bet on baseball. Now, I've seen some of these before, and there's actually three of them in the auction tonight. Sometimes when you find multiple items in the same auction, they'll go for less than what they typically would. I don't really know what these are worth, but I think this would be a pretty cool item to put on the bookshelf here in the office. So if I can get this thing for under 100 bucks, that sounds like it would be a cool talking piece. Okay, I was just outbid on that. Let me go ahead and raise the bid a little bit. Once again, if I can get it for under 100 bucks, including buyer's premium, I'm gonna do that. And it's currently at $89. Let's see if that holds up as the top bid tonight. This Barry Bonds Molten Metal card has been selling raw for as much as $150 recently. So if I can get this one for less than that, it's a PSA 7. These are really, really beautiful cards if you look at them in person. Very rare cards. I am now the highest bidder on that one at $103 plus buyer's premium. So $124. We'll see if that holds up. This T. Higgins booklet card, I'm pretty excited about. One of these sold raw recently for a little bit over $100, so this is not necessarily going to be a steal at the current price. This one is graded by Beckett. It adds a little bit of value, perhaps graded as an 8.5 over a raw version of the card. But I do like the fact that T. Higgins has the opportunity to be a number one receiver in the league, maybe not with Cincinnati where he's in Jamar Chase's shadow, but he can leave Cincinnati, get a number one receiver job somewhere. He's one of the best young receivers in football, a little bit overshadowed on his current team, but he's an incredible young receiver. He's the type of player I would like to have his card going into next football season. I think it's a good opportunity to buy. He'll probably see some price appreciation going into next football season. So I'm the highest bidder on that one right now at $124. I'm comfortable at that price, but probably would not bid it up much higher than that. We are six minutes away from extended bidding. Now, this is a pretty cool card. This is Blaze Jordan's first prospects card from 2021 Bowman. This is the gold refractor number to 50. Now, why do I care about Blaze Jordan? Well, because he's actually a big card collector. He does card breaking. He's big into cards. So that's pretty cool. And to own his gold refractor number to 50, this is actually a pretty good value what this card is selling at right now. So let me go ahead and put in a bid on this one. Who knows? Maybe I'm actually bidding against Blaze Jordan tonight in this golden auction. 
All right, now this is something totally different, a Back to the Future sealed videotape. I, I have no idea what this is actually worth, but what I do know is that Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies of all time, and that would be a pretty nice display for my bookshelf. So I'm going to go ahead and place a bid on this and see if I can pick this up. All right, I'm the high bidder now at $114, including buyer's premium on that. This card I really like because of the eye appeal. This is one of Messi's cards. PSA 10 from 2021. I like the star ball foil design of this card. It's a little, reminds me a little bit of like the logo fractors in baseball. This is kind of a soccer equivalent of it. Uh, my son would go crazy over this card. And guys, this, once again, a lot of these cards that I'm bidding on tonight, they're less than $100. These auctions at Golden, they start at just $5. They actually have a ton of cards in these auctions each week that are like five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, a lot of stuff under $100. So a lot of deals to be found if you hunt around. Now I am going to bid on one high-end card tonight before the auction ends. This is the 1997 Hoops Michael Jordan High Voltage card. I love this card. They're rare, especially in PSA 9 condition. These have been selling for $1,200, $1,400. Uh, so if I can get this one for anything less than that, I'm going to be thrilled with this card tonight. Let me go ahead and put in a bid on this one. I have already been outbid. Let me go ahead and raise my bid to $1,000. That would be $1,200 with buyer's premium. Currently, actually, even though I bid 1000 as my max, 950 is what it currently registered me at. I didn't have to go all the way up to my max yet. That's 1140 with buyer's premium. That would be a really good deal on that card. I hope that holds up. I'm going to get one final bid in. We got six seconds left. How about this Jalen Brown Crusade purple card? Let me confirm my bid as time expires. I was already outbid, but you know what? It doesn't matter because we are now in extended bidding. So the very fact that I got that bid in right before the buzzer now means that we're in a 15 minute extended bidding period. And the only people that can bid in this extended bidding period are people who bid before extended bidding started. So I'm one of the few people who is going to be able to continue to bid on this card. And there's 14 minutes left in extended bidding. So now I can take my time, think about the maximum that I'm willing to pay for this card, and then see if I want to increase my bid accordingly. Okay, so I just went to the bidding page here on Golden Auctions, so I can see a summary of everything that I bid on now that we are in extended bidding. And I can see which items I'm still leading and which items I've already been outbid on by other people here in extended bidding. So unfortunately, this T. Higgins card, I got outbid on it. I don't feel comfortable going much more. It's already at $113 plus buyer's premium. My max bid was $103. I'm going to let that one go because that's going to get a little higher than I think that card is actually worth. I'm still leading right now on this messy card with 13 minutes left in extended bidding. I did get outbid on the Back to the Future videotape. I would like this for my bookshelf. How badly do I want it? It's at $100 right now. It'd be $120 uh, with the buyer's premium added on. We'll see. Let me see what other items, how I do on other items. I'm going to come back and decide if I want that one or not. I really want this Jordan card. That is a really high-end card. I would love to win that. And I am outbid on this Crusade by Jalen Brown. I'm going to look up pricing on that in just a second. I'm still in first place on the Pete Rose. And I'm still in first place on this Peyton Manning lot. That would be a nice pickup for me. As well as this wax box. I would get a lot of value out of that wax box. Now, I did get slightly outbid on this wax box. I will probably let that one go at this point because that would not be as good of a deal if I continue to bid that one up. I did get outbid on this, on this Barry Bonds card. That makes me sad because that's a really, really cool card. But I am still in first place on the Blaze Jordan card as well. So I've still got some really good bids going. Let me look at price history on a couple of these, a couple of these cards here to see if I want to continue to increase my bids or not. While I do that, guys, let me remind you right now that if you go to sportscardinvestor.com and you click on giveaway in the main menu bar, you can enter to win $250 in free golden site credit so that you can go on golden and bid stuff up in this week's weekly auction. And you can see a link directly to this, one's, this week's weekly auction in the show description below. One more special announcement from Golden tonight. They are currently offering no seller fees. If you sell your own items on Golden, no seller fees on sales up 
to $10,000. This is a limited time offer, but if you've got some cards you want to sell, you may want to get them to golden auctions right now and take advantage of the no seller fees promotion. That's pretty outstanding. All right, guys, there's only seven minutes left now in extended bidding. Let's see how I'm doing. That T. Higgins card, I'm going to let that one go. This Back to the Future videotape, I thought about it. I've decided I'm willing to go a little bit higher. I would love that one. Just an off-the-wall item, but I would love to put it on my bookshelf. So I'm going to go ahead and go on this one up to a maximum of $120 before buyer's premium. I'm not going to go any higher than that. But that is where I'm at right now. Currently, the top bid is $110. I am that top bid right now. Now, that resets the clock. When you are in extended bidding and you place a bid on an item in extended bidding, it adds a fresh 15 minutes to the clock. So this one is now going to end later than some of these other items. I am still first place on this Jordan card, and we are now down underneath six minutes left in extended bidding. I am super excited about this card. If my current bid of $950 holds up on this card, I will be a happy camper. That will be actually a really good price that I will be getting that card for. I'm going to let this Jalen Brown card go. Unfortunately, it's a little bit above what I think the reasonable value of that card is, even though it's a cool one. So I'm going to let that go. I'm still in first place on the Pete Rose baseball, still in first place on the Peyton Manning collection. I'm still in first place on this wax box. This wax box I'm letting go because the price got a little bit above where I wanted to pay. And I think I'm going to let that Barry Bonds card go as well. Unfortunately, it's beautiful, but the price is above really where market value is on that card. So I'm going to let that one go. Still in first place on the Blaze Jordan card as well. So this is exciting. I'm winning now a number of these items. Hopefully these bids hold up. There's only six minutes left in some of these items. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. All right, guys, it's a moment of truth. It is the final 15 seconds here of extended bidding for some of these items. You can see the countdown here, eight seconds left. Am I going to win this Jordan card? If it holds up at this $950 price plus buyer's premium, it is going to be a steal for me. Did I get it? Bidding is closed. I won the item. That is a huge get, guys. This card has been selling consistently for $1,200 all the way on up to $1,800, over $1,800, a bunch of sales of that card in PSA 9 for $1,400 to $1,500. I just scooped that card up for a really, really nice price, $950 plus the buyer's premium, but that's going to put the total of the card well under $1,200, which is the lowest it has sold for recently in that neighborhood. So I'm super excited about scooping up that card. Let's see what else we got here. I won the messy card. I'm excited about getting that one. We're still in extended bidding on that Back to the Future uh, videotape. So we'll come back and look at that in a minute. I got the Pete Rose baseball. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I got outbid at the very last minute. Somebody outbid me on this Peyton Manning collection. Oh, that's rough. Do I want to make a play on it? I've got 13 more minutes to decide now if I want to go any, any higher. I might let that one go since I picked up that Jordan card, which I really was excited about. I did get this wax box. That's pretty cool as well. And I got the Blaze Jordan card. So I got a lot of good stuff tonight here. Let me go ahead and switch to my completed tab. And it's showing me the final prices now with buyer's premium. So the final price for the Pete Rose Ball, $89. That is my out the door price to win that item, to get that item. Okay, I've decided I'm going to take one last pass at this Peyton Manning lot and extended bidding. Let me go ahead and place one more bid on it for $140 before buyer's premium. That's going to be the highest I go. So either I hold up here as the winning bidder 15 minutes from now, or this lot will go to somebody else. We'll see what happens. All right, so the auctions are all over. Let's see what I won. Unfortunately, I lost the Back to the Future tape that ended up going for $156, a little more than I was willing to pay, but uh, somebody got a pretty cool thing there for their bookshelf. I did win the Peyton Manning collection, $168. That was my total with buyer's premium. I'm pretty happy with that. 10 graded Peyton Manning cards. Some of them definitely worth 20 to 30 bucks so, or more, so very happy with that pickup. Uh, happy with the pickup of this wax box as well. 
Got that for $104 and it's been selling on the secondary market for about $140. So definitely the opportunity to flip this one a little bit. This messy card I bought because I wanted to give it to my son. I thought it was so cool. I love the star ball foil cards, PSA 10, low population card. Only 16 of these cards exist in PSA 10 population. So pretty happy with that pickup for a hundred bucks. Also happy with the Blaze Jordan card. Again, this guy's a big card collector. His gold refractor of his first Bowman for only $108. You can't go wrong with that. Hopefully, I'll get the chance to meet him someday. Maybe I'll even give him the card if I do. And then finally, the big card of the night, the Michael Jordan 1997 Hoops high voltage card. I ended up with Buyer's Premium picking that card up for $1,140, which is the lowest sale of that card in that condition for many, many months. I am thrilled with that deal on that card. That is the big win tonight for me on Golden. And I want you to have a big win in this week's weekly auction. $250 in free golden credit. Win it by going to sportscardinvestor.com and clicking on giveaway in the main menu bar. Then click the link in the show description below, not only to enter the giveaway, but also to see all of the items on Golden right now in this week's weekly auction. As a reminder, the weekly auction items, they start Tuesday mornings and they end Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And if you want to sell your items on Golden, do it right now because for a limited time, they are offering no seller fees on items up to $10,000. That's pretty awesome. I appreciate you guys watching. See you again soon. Take care.